Hey guys, welcome to our Brick Separator. Today I want to do a quick comparison of uh, the official Steam Deck versus my uh, custom Lego Steam Deck. So, uh, uh, as you'll see, the first thing you'll notice is that this is much shorter than the real one. Uh, I knew that uh, when I built it. Um, I wanted uh, this to be able to fit my phone in here so I could stream games to it. Um, so, I wanted to be able to reach it with my hands. Uh, and hold it like the real thin. And if I made it any longer, um, I wouldn't be able to reach the screen. So that's why I did that. So that was uh, just kind of a design decision. Uh, but you can see the speakers, I think turned out pretty good. Uh, joysticks are okay. Uh, do wish that they're a little more flat on the top. Uh, the screen bezels, I think were decent. Uh, track pads, uh, I had to do that placement uh, just for a reason. Uh, just couldn't really easily pit it white right where I wanted it. When you look at fins like the D-pads, uh, I think those are um, pretty um, fine comparison there. The overall uh, grips stuff, not too bad. I think that is, uh, you know, you know, pretty close to what the real fin is. Of course, not gonna get the ergonomics completely uh, in Lego. It's just possible to do that. Um, but I also got the um, options and select buttons up there. Um, flip it around uh, at the top. I got the uh, volume sliders, um, headphone jack, the vents, and the um, right there was the uh, forget what that is. Uh, but we'll show get this uh, together here. You can kind of see the uh, comparison uh, so, a little bit off in some places, uh, not too, too bad, but again, I had to kind of shrink fins down to fit that uh, fin there. You can see a screen reflecting off of the back of that. Uh, you got to see the vents there, are also, uh, you can see those, uh, you slide and door pieces there. Uh, back buttons, uh, just use those minifigure stands, could have done better with that, but uh, just kind of was um, the easiest fin for me to do. So, uh, you know, not uh, too far off, I don't think. Uh, I think it came out pretty decent in the end. Thickness is about right, I think. Uh, and overall, I think it's, you know, close enough. Obviously, I was doing this off of uh, just pictures and stuff, so I wasn't able to see it in real life. Uh, but I think it came out okay. I built this little stand here as well um, that, while well, it's supposed to kind of be modeled off of the official dock, but uh, this also serves as a really great stand to hold the Steam Deck. And it's down low in fins and just to uh, you know kind of display it in a little way. I think it looks pretty nice like that. Uh, but if you want to see the Lego one on here, that would just go something like that. And uh, I think that uh, looks kind of fine. I, I made some adjustments to this so it doesn't hold it quite as well as it used to. But uh, that's pretty much it for this. Just wanted to do a quick, uh, you know, short comparison of the two. Uh, and, you know, I think it came out pretty decent. Uh, really been enjoying my time with the device. Uh, and definitely has changed the way I play games. Uh, I put, do most of my gaming on here now. Uh, I'm recording this about a week after I'm getting it, so this is like my one week was yesterday. Um, but very fun device, uh, works great for the Lego games. Uh, I definitely recommend it to anyone that can afford it. Uh, it is very pricey, um, but it's about on par of what you'd see with the PlayStation and the Xbox, uh, those modern consoles, uh, about what you'd get um, with performance matches. Uh, up with that price point um, but you know it works really well very simple to use uh, just yeah I mean I've really enjoyed it uh, it surpassed expectations even though it was those expectations are pretty high to begin with uh, and that's really saying something because I've always been someone who is not you know into PC gaming at all never has appealed to me I've thought that uh, you know who wants to play in the you know mouse and keyboard controls and all that? 
Uh, you know, so I, uh, you know, I've completely turned over a new leaf here. Uh, it's really been nice to just kind of see what other options there are uh, outside of Nintendo, where it's where I usually spend uh, all my gaming stuff on, is on Nintendo platforms usually. Uh, but very impressive device, very, very happy with it. Uh, you know, worth every penny, even though it was a lot of pennies um, to get this. Uh, but definitely really fun. Uh, and I hope that anyone else that may get it uh, will get it soon and enjoy it uh, as much as I have. Uh, it sounds like it should be getting a little easier for people to get it uh, by the end of this year. Um, and then going to next year, uh, very bright future ahead of this in, uh, in terms of production and just in terms of uh, what this will be capable of you know, a few years from now, what games will be put on it and things like that. Uh, but enough rambling, um, that'll do it for this video. If you liked today's video, be sure to check out some of the other ones here on the Brick Separator. See you soon.